Hi, this is Greg with Telltale, back to review this time a science fiction book that probably none of you have ever heard of. Some of you might have, but you have to be pretty diehard to have ever found this one. I only recently discovered it. It is called Cosmos, and what it is is a round robin book that was written back in between 1933 and 1934 by 15 of the greatest science fiction authors of the day all organized by Ray Palmer, who later became editor of Amazing Stories. At this time, he was editing one of the very first science fiction fanzines. The story regards two leaders from a planet in Alpha Centauri. One is a deposed ruler. The other one is the current dictator who took over. And he's the current dictator is the evil guy. And the current dictator wants to go out on a mission of conquest. He picks our solar system as his first target. So he leaves a whole fleet of warships to head to our solar system to try and take all of us over. And in the solar system described here, you got to remember this is 1933, 1934, many of the of the planets of the solar system, Mars, Venus, Neptune, Jupiter, Saturn, they are colonized by alien civilizations. So the deposed ruler, he wants to put a stop to this and he wants people to be free. He's the good guy. He and his lead scientist build a spaceship that's faster than what the bad guy has at his disposal. So they get to the solar system first and try to unite all the worlds of the solar system into an attack force to put a stop to the bad guy. This story is a lot of fun. It's space opera at a time when space opera was first being invented. The authors involved in this were all instrumental in forging that subgenre that would eventually lead to a lot of the science fiction being written today and movies like Star, like the Star Wars series, Battlestar Galactica, none of those things would have happened without these authors paving the way and setting the standards. Now, what you got to remember, though, reading this book, and it's debatable whether you could call this a classic or not. What you got to remember reading this book is that these authors were very young. They had no formal training as writers in most cases. Some of them had training in science. They were barely out of their teens. Some of them were still in their teens, very young authors. They were still forging their style. And, they, and at the same time, they were inventing this whole new literature that we have today. It was being invented by these guys at this time when Cosmos was written. So Cosmos isn't the most professionally written book. A lot of the characters are pretty cardboard. A lot of the dialogue is, well, Star Wars quality. We all know Star Wars doesn't have the greatest dialogue writing in, in movies. And this book has some pretty stiff, ridiculous dialogue, too. But it still is a fun story and has that sense of wonder that brought us all to the science fiction genre in the first place. So I would recommend if you are a diehard space opera fan and want to know the history behind that format of literature, this is the book for you. You should read this. For everyone else, it's probably a little too old, probably a little too stiff, probably a little too amateurish to give you what you want out of a book. But it stands as a classic because of who wrote it, when it was written, and all the things that came afterward. All the writers like Paul Anderson, um, Mr. Sanderson, I forget his first name, Brandon or whatever. The science fiction that they're writing is space opera. They wouldn't have written what they wrote if it had not been for some of the authors that were involved in this project, people like Edward Elmer Smith, John W. Campbell, Edmund Hamilton, David H. Keller, S.P. Meek, Abraham Merritt, 
this is the lineup you have, each of them writing a separate chapter of this book. And it's, it's pretty cool. It's pretty interesting to someone who is interested in the history of science fiction and where it all came from. This is a, a rare book that a lot of people don't know about, but it's out there and it's a classic. With that, short review, I would say check it out if you want to. If it's not your cup of tea, then certainly move on to something else. But go read a classic and come back next Friday, 6 p.m. is when we put these online. Every Friday, 6 p.m., a new video.